Now you remember President Obama in his State of the Union gave a rousing ending of the speech talking about gun control and how they were going to get a vote, whether it was Gabby Giffords or all the other victims. You remember this. Gabby Giffords deserves a vote. The families of Newtown deserve a vote. The families of Aurora deserve a vote. The families of Oak Creek and Tucson and Blacksburg and the countless other communities ripped open by gun violence, they deserve a simple vote. Yeah, turns out they're not going to get one. Huh, shocking. Now, they will get a meaningless vote in the form of, of an amendment, but you have to understand this is an important part of how politics works. If they're in the base bill, the assault weapons ban is, well then it's getting a real vote. Because the base bill, in order for the politicians to be able to pat themselves on the back and say they did something, has to pass. So if they put it in the base bill, meaning the larger bill, the one that's the, the main thing that they're going to vote on, well then they're saying we really want to give this a vote and put people to a decision, are you going to be in favor of it or are you going to be against it? Well it turns out the assault weapons ban is not going to be in that. In fact, neither is the high capacity magazines. Listen to Harry Reid. It's been very clear the Republicans want us to have <coughs> bills coming to the floor that have gone through committee. My job is to find one of those that I can bring to the floor, or two of them, but at least have been through the committee, and that I can get 60 votes to proceed to that. We cannot have votes on everything unless I get something on the floor. It's a, it's a legislative impossibility. Right now, her amendment, using the most optimistic numbers has less than 40 votes. I, that's not 60. I have to get something on the floor so we can have votes on that issue. In other words, nope, I'm not putting the assault weapons ban in that base bill. No, you're not going to get a real vote on it. Ha <laughs> ha, not even going to vote on it. Not a real vote. Oh yeah, here, good luck with your amendment. Yeah, this is what's going to happen to your amendment, Diane Feinstein. It's not going to pass. So assault weapons ban, nice knowing you. Now, I told you already months ago that they were never going to pass the assault weapons ban, but whenever I say that, I have my Democratic friends come in and say, oh, Jank, you're such a pessimist, you're a hater, oh, you don't like Obama. Oh, really? I mean, here we're, we're going to get a vote, we're going to get a vote. I told you, first of all, I told you, what does a vote mean? A vote means I'm going to lose. I, Gabby Giffords doesn't need a vote. Those poor 20 kids who died in Newtown, they don't need a vote. They need to win. They need to get those weapons off the streets. They need to get high capacity magazines. Why in the world do you need to shoot 30 bullets at the same time? Unless you want to kill more people, you want to kill more kids. We need to get that passed. Now we know it is not getting passed. Now my Democratic friends will tell me, no, 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 no. Uh, it's the damn Republicans. And you're right. Are the Republicans going to vote against it? Of course they are. Senator Chuck Grassley says, quote, there's no way a ban on guns is going to get to the president. Won't even get to him. And then, of course, and my Democratic friends will tell me, you see that? It was the Republicans. It was the Republicans. Oh, really? Quote from Senator Harry Reid. Using the most optimistic numbers, it has less than 40 votes. Let me do some quick math for you. Democrats have well over 50. <laughs> They're not quite at 60. <laughs> votes in the Senate. That means they have lost about 15, 17, depending on your count on this particular issue, Democratic senators on this. <laughs> the Democrats won't vote for it. The Democrats won't vote for it. They can't even get a majority on it, let alone get past the filibuster. Let alone get to the House. How pathetic is this? All right, well, you say, well, come on, Jake, it's a center-right country. It's a center-right country. You can't win on things that the American people aren't with you on. I mean, you're a liberal. The American people love their guns. They don't want an assault weapons ban. Of course, well, I'm going to show you the number. That shows that you're absolutely wrong if you think that. I can show you a million of these polls. I'll give you one of them. 56% say they support a ban on the sale of assault weapons. And you can go ahead and look it up online. 100 different polls right in that ballpark, 54, 55, 56 percent. Now, you say high capacity magazines, I mean, that's probably not popular, right? Banning those? Wrong again, Bob. 65 percent support a ban on high capacity magazines. And let me tell you something more about that. It's not just the American people overall. 
59% of Republicans, 60% of independ independents say ban those high capacity magazines. Who cares what Republicans think? Who cares what Democrats think? Who cares what the American people think? They don't give a damn. It's not a democracy. Uh, all those Democratic senators that are going the other way, why are they doing that? Because Democrats, as Democrats, they'd lose an election. Oh, hell no. They might lose the election in the other way, but they get checks. They get graded by the NRA. They have to go to the NRA and say, yes, sir, absolutely, sir. What do you need me to do? You need me to kill that legislation. It's killed. The Republicans, the same. They don't give a damn about our democracy. Now, here's what I'm amused by. Now, I hate to do this to them because these are all good friends and I agree with them on gun control. But look at all these people who got so excited because they were so close to the president and the vice president. Understand something, they don't care about you. They just want to give you a pat on the head and move you along. And apparently, unfortunately, these good people didn't understand that. Our meeting yesterday with the vice president was awesome. I mean, it was highly motivational to come out of that, seeing such a commitment to a comprehensive look at gun policy and gun violence in America. Very personal with mayors, but we can't do it alone. Uh, I walk away um, pleased, optimistic. Well, what this is, is the beginning of a movement. It's and now as a member of Congress, I'm determined that we're going to take appropriate action. You know, this is a, a, a problem, but we can solve it. You know, um, I th everyone of my colleagues and all the other victims and survivors that were with me uh, yesterday left that meeting elated. You know, these are difficult problems, but in the United States of America, we solve difficult problems. I mean, we sent men to the moon. It was awesome. I had to pinch myself when Attorney General Eric Holder sat down next to me and then Vice President Joe Biden right next to him. Oldest trick in the book. Aren't you so happy to be at the White House? And then as soon as you leave, they slam that door behind you. Go, <laughs> they think we're going to do something about gun control. We're not going to do a damn thing. Now, just when you think it can't get any worse. Now, what's left in that so-called gun control bill? Well, at least there's a universal background check, right? Wrong again, Bob. Listen to Harry Reid when asked about that specific issue. Quote, I'm working to put something together that I can get 60 votes to put a bill on the floor. I'm going to do everything I can to do that. In other words, we might not get that at all. The universal background check. Now, do you want to know what percentage of Americans agree with that? Now, I'm not going to give you the CNN number. That was from a little while ago. That was 94%. Oh, come on, that's way too high. So I'll give you a, a very recent number. It's from CBS New York Times. 92% of Americans favor background checks on all gun buyers. 92% and Harry Reid is unsure about whether he can get 60 votes for it in the Senate and if he can't then the Republicans will filibuster it and the Democrats will happily secretly go along with that and we will not even have a universal background check. Now I ask you, do we have a democracy? Do we have a democracy? No, we don't. no sir, no sir, that's exactly right. Now you want to get the last little dig shiv in our back? So what in the hell would be left in the gun control bill if they took all of this out? The main provision left would be safety in schools. In other words, possibly armed guards in the schools. And whose proposal was that? The NRAs. We don't have a democracy at all, man. Who signs your paychecks? Well, those are the guys who write the rules. So for the senators and the congressmen who are legally bribed in our country, in our incredibly, ridiculously corrupt country, that's all they care about. They don't care if 92% of Americans disagree with them. They're not going to do what you say. They're going to do what their donors say. And in this case, the NRA wins again.